Thunderstorms can kill you. Hi, it's Frank the Pilot. What amazing revelations are what a professional pilot thinks, sees, and feels. I might know something that can help you. Would you be interested in hearing about it? I'm offering you gouges, valuable information from my many years of flight experience. And gouge 28 is in chapter 13 of Frank the Pilot, and it could save your life. It was in 1987. Captain Phil and I were operating a Bandit. We called it the Bandit. It was an EMB 110 turboprop airplane for Atlantic Southeast Airlines. So I'm now flying for Atlantic Southeast Airlines. Phil's the pilot, he's the captain. I'm the co pilot or the first officer. And we were flying from Lawton Regional Airport to San Angelo Regional Airport in Texas. Now, the weather was bad in San Angelo, so I briefed the passengers about the bad weather and I instructed them to remain seated with their seatbelts fastened securely. We were approaching San Angelo from the east while the bad weather was approaching San Angelo from the southwest. With the runway in clear view, Phil seemed less worried. But within a New York minute, our flight conditions changed drastically. Even with the runway still in sight, the humongous thunderstorms from five miles away started to spew hailstorms in all direction. As our distance to the airport decreased, long, sizzling lightning strikes struck more often and lasted longer. The bandage started disobeying the captain. She started rolling and banking and pitching in reaction to the explosive turbulence. That mysterious thunderstorm didn't look that bad on our radar scope, but that unpredictable evil thunderstorm contained tremendous unstable energy and dry moisture. Dry moisture is not easy to detect on the radar. In the south and southwest, you have dry moisture. It's not easy to detect where in the northeast it is. So a level two in the, in the southwest or southeast could be more like a level four in the northeast. That furious storm showed its true colors. Behind the, her veil, she was dark, unstable, mean, and fiercely offensive. She shot nickel-sized rock-hard hailstones at us, like a Rambo bazooka gun, shooting deadly hail at an innocent and defensive plane, the bandit, and her aim was good. As I heard and felt the hammering, boom, 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 the bandit started weeping and limping. The bandit did not like it. I know Phil didn't like it, and I certainly didn't like it. In the back of my mind, I was thinking, go around, go around, let's get out of here. But I didn't suggest it, and I wasn't the captain. Rock and roll. The bandit rocked and rolled like a dancer at a concert, only in a horizontal position. Unlike a dancer that has a floor underneath its feet to help maintain balance, we had Mother H's Mother Nature's unstable air all around us. We were getting bounced around like a wine cork in a rough ocean waves. All the time I kept saying to myself, this doesn't feel good. I don't like it. Mother Nature, probably at God's command, gave one more minute of timeout. Like in football, you get a timeout. The hail stopped, the turbulence stopped, the wind became calm, and the lightning may have stopped, though I did not know because all my bodily senses were fixated inside the confines of the cockpit where I was assisting Captain Phil to save our lives. My left eye caught a glimpse of a brief smile of relief that Phil displayed. The bandit resumed obeying all of Phil's commands. The bandit was happy under the influence of Phil versus under the influence of the bad turbulence. During that brief time of soundness and solace, I remembered, we have passions in the back. I wonder how they are doing. I noticed there was no conversations going on in the back of the plane. All the passions were soiling their pants or praying for their lives. It's amazing that in times of sensing that a life is soon to end, everybody attempts to connect with God. That very angry thunderstorm resumed her offense 
with the same memento of self kindness she had before the timeout to destroy us. That was her goal. Hail, rain, wind, turbulence, reduced visibility were the weapons of her attack. Again, Phil looked extremely worried. You learn something new about a person every day. Phil is a fighter, and he had great pilot skills to fight with. And by the skin of his teeth, he managed to command control of the aircraft. I can't believe we're doing this. We may be in over our heads, I said to myself. Yank and bank. The captain fought Mother Nature with Bennett's aircraft pitch and power. I did everything possible as a first officer to support the captain. I wanted to live too. With purpose and care, Captain Field deliberately landed and firmly planted a plane on a soaking wet runway. Phil won. His pilot skills enabled Bannett, me, and all the passengers to land safely. We make our money above planet Earth, and it's serious business, and we want to live too. So the gouge is, thunderstorms can kill you. They can kill even the best pilots. For pilots, never forget Recognize and avoid thunderstorms. Utilize the range and tilt functions of your radar instrument to see and avoid thunderstorms. If you see a super strong cell, deviate around those cells. Remember, what may seem like a cell level number two in dry moisture could be more like a level four in wet moisture. For passengers, if your captain encounters thunderstorms or any bad weather, and lands the plane safely, then thank the captain for his expertise and critical decision-making skills, enabling you to get to your destination safely. Grab a copy of Frank the Pilot. Come read with me, come fly with me. Come on this emotional journey of becoming an airline pilot. So many stories will transport you and evoke emotion. The next gouge is be prepared for the airline interview. I know that's going to be very important and a lot of people are going to watch that, the airline interview. I want to thank you for the four-star ratings and book reviews and for giving me thumbs up and following me on social platforms. It makes me feel good that I can give back and share with you. Help you, I will. Enjoy the day. If not, enjoy the night.